me out to the ball game. With another edition of the Sweet Scoop and coming to you today from historic Burleski Stadium, I'm Roy Elia, where the Walla Walla Sweets will be taking on the Wenatchee Apple Sox in a three-game series featuring West Coast League opponents, and we are delighted to be joined by the newest member of the Walla Walla Sweets. He is catcher Bryce Vitt. And Bryce, first of all, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm from uh, Thousand Oaks, California. Go to Sonoma State. Went there a year, JUCO before that. Um, I guess something cool is I, I didn't play for two years out of high school and then started playing again and found my love for the game again. Now, tell us, were there a reason or reasons why you decided on Sonoma State? Um, you know, I'd have to say one of the biggest reasons was I was getting money from them. I didn't have a lot of offers. Um, but I knew I wanted to get out of junior college, so I took that offer, and I've loved it. It's awesome. Sonoma State's great. Now tell us about your junior college experience. Um, you know, I went to a, a kind of subpar, for the most part usually, um, junior college in Woodland Hills called Los Angeles Pierce College. Um, the coach there is great. They just sometimes don't get all the talent. Um, but when I was there, we had a good year. We were, I think we were 500, we made the playoffs. We had a future draft pick this year, um, Brandon Lewis on our team. He was the MVP of the league. It was a lot of fun. Now tell us about your high school playing days. Uh, high school, I went to uh, Westlake High School in Westlake Village, California, um, home of the famous Christian Yelich. Um, <clears throat> I was on varsity all four years. Started seeing the field a little more my sophomore year. Um, but then, yeah, didn't really look back. Played a lot um, all of those years. Didn't really do too much, uh, like, championship-wise, but it was fun. It was good. Now, the exit question, or perhaps one of two exit questions I might have for you, how did this opportunity with the Walla Walla Suites come about? You know, I was, uh, I was at the gym probably six days ago. Um, and this Dodger scout, Dennis Mahler, uh, that I've known for a couple of years now, he called me up, said that he had an opportunity for me to come to uh, Walla Walla, play with the Sweets. Um, I played with Coach Mutes before, so I already have a relationship with him. Um, so yeah, he just needed, he worked it out. I got a call from Mutes and now I'm here. And now that second exit question is promised. What do you expect to bring to a ball club that had a very nice first half of the season, finished 18-9 and against West Coast League opponents, but has been on the skids as of late? Uh, what do you see your role being as? Or is it just going to be one of those things where you, you just find somewhere, somehow, some way to fit into the fold? Um, I'm, I'm big on finding a way to fit into the fold. I... Uh, I'll get the job done when I need to be done. I'm not like the biggest hitter and stuff like that. I don't come out here hitting bombs all the time, but when something needs to be done, I like to think that I get it done. And behind the plate, that's that's my strong suit for sure. So hopefully I can bring a lot there and still get things done on the offensive side. Those are the comments of Bryce Vitt, the newest member of the Walla Walla Suites. The Suites opening a three-game series tonight at Burleski Stadium against the Wenatchee Apple Sox. First pitch is scheduled for 6.35. From Burleski Stadium and for our newest suite, Bryce Vitt, I'm Roy Elia. Take me out to the ball game.